In this video, we are going to see how to properly calculate the years between two dates. And we don't need to think about any complex formula and uh, we don't need to couple formulas together like I did here to show the difference between the final result that I'm using here, a special function. But we can simply use a function to know what is the age that someone is or how many years there are between two dates how many months, how many days, and so forth. So let's see how to properly, using a function in Excel, how to retrieve those results, those values. Let's go. Let's get started by calculating how many years, months, and days someone is based on the date of birth or a initial date, let's say. Uh, to calculate the years, we can easily start with the equal sign and then date diff it's a hidden function in excel because as we can notice uh, we can't see anything in the tag showing us the list of the functions that corresponding to this one right here date diff however if you open parentheses you can notice now you have this little tag right here that indicates that excel has indeed this function so the first thing that we need to select here is that the, the older date or i want to calculate the difference between the date of birth up to today's date. So let's first of all select the date of the birth. And I can either manually input the date, such as open uh, quotations, and then I can input the date and close quotations, or I can easily click on the cell where I have the value. And then trauma. Now I need to input here the today's date to make sure I can uh, properly calculate the difference between the date of the birth to today's date but i don't want to do it manually because imagine if i input here the today's date such as january 1st of 2025 open and close quote and unquote uh because it's not going to always keep the formula the result up to date so i don't know if it's a good idea so what we can do is to make sure always tomorrow next week next month next year the result always is going to remain updated to you. You can use the today function. Double click to select one, two. Uh, because the today's function already here opens uh, the parentheses, we can close the parentheses and then trauma to move on to the last argument. That is to specify if I want the years, the months or the days as a result of my calculation. And I want to use the years. So open quotations, y that stands for year close quotations close parentheses and then i can hit enter 38 so if someone was born in this date right here now this person is 38 let me at the bottom right corner of this cell click hold and drag down to make sure i can copy this function to all the rows that i have and that's it i done so this is the age of this person we can do the same thing using using the mouse with the same logic However, the only thing that is going to change is instead of using Y, that is stands for years, we're going to use M, that is stands for months. And if you want to use uh, calculate the days, we can use D, that stands for days. So let's go again. Equal sign, date, diff, open uh, parentheses, and then the date of the birth or the starting point, trauma, the ending point now, that is the two days date or the two days function, open and close parentheses. And uh, the type of return that I want to have is M, quote, unquote, close parentheses, and then enter. I don't want to do it again for the days because I think it's easier to select everything that I did previously. And then right-click, chop. Let's go now to the days, double-click to open up, opens up the cell, right-click, and then paste. Let's change the M to the letter D, and then enter. Now we can select both of those cells, click, hold, and drag down. That way, we know how many years, months, and days are in between two dates. The date of the birth and two days, and uh, two days date. And you can also use different examples. So let's say you have two dates, January 1st of 1999. And the second date that you have is, let's say, March 15 of, uh, 20 of 2005. Enter. What is the difference in years between those two dates? Equal sign, date, diff, 
open parentheses, remember, always select the starting point, so the older date, comma, now the newer date, comma, what you want to have as a result. Year, day, month, I want to have year, so why? Quote, unquote, close parentheses, and then enter. Six years in between those dates. Now, let's go here to the last example, where I want to calculate the difference between the next date to the previous one or the previous date to the next one and so forth. And uh, something that I want to show here is if I do a formula in Excel, instead of using the, a function, such as equal sign, and then the current date minus the previous one. And if I hit enter, I'm going to have the quantity of days between one date to another. However, I don't want to have the days, but I want to have the years in between one date to another. So you might think, what I can do is, I can double click, one, two, in the cell, input the, this calculation in between parentheses, and then I can divide by 365. The problem is 365, it can be how many days we have in one year. But there is also years that have 366. So this is a problem to be mindful of. But let me hit enter. Uh, let me bring this formula down to make sure we can copy to all the rows. And yeah, that's it. I can also change the decimal places or I can use a function equal sign to round down the number and uh, get rid of the decimal places uh, because it's make no sense, right? Years, how many years is in between this date to the previous one? One year is not 1.8, but one, one year, okay? But instead of using the round function, I can go here and decrease the decimal places like this. Let me keep up with two because I want to make a comparison here. Now let's use the equal sign, the date, diff function. Open parentheses, the older date, comma, the newer date, comma, open quotations, and then I want to have the years, close quotations, close parentheses, and then enter. As we can notice, the date diff is very, it's much more handy because we don't need to use a formula coupled with the round function and any of those things. We can simply use the date dip to calculate the years, the days, the months between two dates. The results are going to be much more precise as we can notice right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to use the date diff in Excel to always calculate the years, months, days between two dates. And also how to calculate age using Excel. If you have any questions or any suggestions, let me know, comment down below because I see you tomorrow. Every day has a new video.